let me bring in Jamie Kelsey Fry now. Uh, Jamie, you say you want to uh, stop the G8. What's the point? What's the point of trying to stop the G8? Indeed. Um, this is uh, part of a much wider movement that's happening globally. I would say that uh, the Occupy movement, the anti-G8 movement, the anti-capitalist movement, the climate justice movement, the economic justice movement, it's all uh, really come down to a very, very simple message, which are, as your guest was just saying, ordinary people are realising and finding that they are being ripped off, that their governments aren't representing them, instead their governments are representing corporations. And this is becoming much more common knowledge. Generally the way that this kind of protest is portrayed is that they're uh, a bunch of like lazy layabout people who need showers and drink cider, but that's far from the case. As your guest just said, more and more normal people are realising or feeling the only way they can make a difference is actually to come into the streets. They've lost all faith with the political system and they're losing faith with the economic system. Okay, they but feel the, the only G8 way... is, rep is representing profits before people, not people before profits, and it's an outrage. And people are outraged, as you can see. Okay, but the only way you can get anything done about that outrage is by actually through international institutions such as the G8. It's the only show in town. We don't believe, when I say we, I'm just a, I'm not a spokesperson for any group, I'm an Occupy supporter, but a huge amount of people would agree with me. When we don't believe in those institutions, we think they're absolutely failing. And we want to see the end of the World Trade uh, Organization, we want to see the end of the IMF, the end of the G8. We think it's just small clubs creaming the money for small amounts of people. It's, a, it's a, just a corporatocracy. It's nothing to do with the well-being of people, not only in this country, but in the whole planet. We're not just talking about climate justice, we're talking about the exhaustion of resources, perpetual wars for the last resources. These are desperate times. We don't believe that we can vote for anyone who's going to make the differences that we need. OK, well, Brooks Newmark, these institutions are failing, aren't they? They're dated. You know, the G8 doesn't include China or India. And the international system itself is in flux. So really, what can be achieved? Well, I think these gatherings are important. And we do make a progress, maybe not as fast as your previous speaker would like on issues such as the environment. Would we all like more progress, faster progress? Uh, absolutely. But you need forums such as the G8 or the, the wider groups that include the BRICS, Brazil, uh, Russia, uh, Indonesia, China and so on. Uh, you know, in these groups, it should include a wider group to tackle these big issues such as the environment, such as uh, tax avoidance, such as ensuring that uh, those economies out there that are providing huge amounts of, of commodity wealth uh, to uh, Western economies benefit from that. And as I said, I okay. think the government is trying to take the lead on this. We're listening very hard to even the protesters today. They should be rest assured that the Prime Minister hears what they're, they're okay. saying and that we will be doing something about it. Brooks Newmark, Jamie Kelsey-Fry, thank you very true, much for joining us.